the CTR. And if you increase the CTR, it will increase the quality score. If the quality score is increased, it will reduce the CPC. Okay, so we, we, we know like what are the steps used to increase the CTR. So if you apply those steps, we surely help us to get the required quality score for each of our keyword and that will surely have an impact on the CPC. That will help you to reduce the CPC. That is the first step. Second, how to reduce the CPC? We directly don't de uh, define the bid at a higher price. We start with a very nominal CPC price for every keyword. Because sometimes, now let's say if a particular keyword is can do really good with 15 rupees bid value, then why should we start with 30 rupees? So it's recommended that anytime you start with a new uh, account, PPC account, start with start with a minim, minimum or minimal or you can say nominal CPC value for each of your keyword and based on the performance try to increase the bid based on the performance based on where the ad copy is showing up what is the position of the given keyword around that you try to increase the bid value Okay, so that you are still in control with your cost per click. Okay, because where I am not supposed, uh, supposed to spend 50 rupees, okay, then bread is, actually I should be starting with 15 rupees. I am not supposed to spend 50 rupees because I don't know whether 50 was right or not. Right. It could be very excessive for the given keyword. So let me start with 50 rupees, see the position, and around that I will increase the bid so that I am trying to attain my right uh, sorry, add position for the given keyword. That is the second thing. Third, what are the different ways to reduce the PPC of your, uh, sorry, CPC of your keyword? How to reduce the cost per click? So here, we are more talking, yes, individual keyword CPC, overall campaign average CPC, for sure, whenever you go live with a campaign, you will have keywords having different CPC value. And for sure, you have to give a benchmark level to your average CPC value. So, any of the keyword that is exceeding above your benchmark CPC level, you surely have to reduce the CPC for that. Okay. Uh, why? Because, yes, when you try to go live with the given list of keywords, some keywords will take more money to show up a better position. Some keyword will really perform well at a low position also. Now the very big question over here is, why should I pay 50 rupees for a given keyword for the performance when I can get 4 clicks out of the same 50 rupees and still get a good performance from a different keyword. So I will try to promote the other keyword because that will get, give me more clicks with a lesser CPC in order to try the same performance which where, where the other keyword is just having one click at one, 50 rupees and give me the same performance. So I will try to promote the other keyword. So that is that is the thing. So try to give more scope to the keyword that can that can acquire more clicks to improve performance around a given CPC then promoting then promoting a higher CPC keyword. Okay. Fourth point. Fourth point is how to reduce CPC. Is it mandatory that all the time we have to be in the first position? 
So many of the people they target for the first position and that is for how they pay up higher money for every click. Now it's not mandatory or it's not always recommended to be in the first position. First position again differs. Like for your keyword to be positioned in Google search results, we have to define a condition here. Not every keyword should be positioned in first. There is a requirement here that yeah, if my if, if I have a brand keyword, for sure I have to be in the first position. But if I have a specific keyword, instead of placing it in the first position and paying more money, I will try to place it in the second, third or fourth position while reducing my CPC cost and while still getting the same number of traffic for my uh, campaign. So, so you have to be at the right position for your keyword and right position doesn't mean you have to be in the first position. Right position could be that for my brand keyword, I will be in the first position. For my generic keyword, I will still be good with fourth or fifth position. For my specific keywords, it's always good to be in the second, third or fourth but not first. So while adjusting or while defining the position for each of your category key, 